We have 999 happy hops here, but there's always room for a thousand. Any volunteers? This is the perfect pour. Well, dude, the walls are like, <laughs> mo- are they moving? <laughs> Is this room getting longer? Welcome to the perfect four. So I'm having fun with the beers. I'm Mikey. Pick. And I'm Rad Stacy. <laughs> what? Ha- what? You're the who? Uh, yeah. Huh? I don't know. I was I was just noticing the uh, the awkward <laughs> silence is all. Uh, You're like, I'm the Nick. The Nick. The Nick. The Nick. Eighty. We're here to talk about Am the craft beers for the 533rd time. Having drinking the beers, talking about the beers we're looking yeah. out for. The vo- uh, yeah. voicemail. People are gonna leave voicemails. It's gonna be fun. Before the show, five hundred thirty-three yeah. episodes, that's a lot. and no one has aged a day. Nope, <laughs> that's that's the amazing exactly part about the it. Same. <laughs> exactly the same. Exactly the same. Before the show, I opened up a uh, Slice Beer Company Shark Launcher Hazy Double IPA. Holy shark! That's a shark launcher. I'm just reading the can. It's got Citra, Nigma, HBC 586, and Simcoe running eight on the Aux. Kind of a low end for a for a dip. Uh, <laughs> it's got a shark <laughs> shooting fire out of its mouth. And uh, it was donated to the show by Wasit Corvette, obviously. I really feel like they Simcoe. jumped the shark on that one. No. Ooh. Ooh. No, the Fonz isn't. I don't know what we're talking about, to but I'm going to join in. Ooh. <laughs> Um, it is good, nice, uh, delicious, easy uh, dip. Uh, Nick, what do you have? Who are you, what have you been uh, drinking? Well, I started with Monumental Discovery, West Coast from Celias. Celias Beer Company. Um, and now, uh, this is more. this is more for you guys than for me. Doing this for you. Okay. Um, wow. I'm going to do Java Jack from uh, New Glory. <laughs> Taking one for the team. Spice <laughs> Latte Golden Stout. Well, finally, somebody's doing a, a pumpkin thing beer. There's way too much going on. I that. almost way too yeah, much. I, I almost there got could that. Not be more words in a label. I almost got that same one just as because it was the only single. That was pumpkin related, yeah. <laughs> but then like I read Stacy just hit it. Like there was like there's like five too many things going on. It's like nah, it's all right. You could have just made kid. it a pumpkin ale, and I would have done it. But you, you piled on too <laughs> many. That's what we call like things. kitchen sink beer right there. Just yeah. hey, we got a bunch We're of shit left over. It. Let's. It's gonna be pumpkin. <laughs> some yeah. golden stout. It's gonna oh. be hazy. It's gonna be all yeah. On all right. But Nick's gonna do it. Well, if you guys are wondering, this are isn't you- your mom's PSL. Are your taste buds just dancing with joy or what? What's going on over there? Well, <laughs> I'm kind of sad it's only six, five Alex. Like now I'm kind of disappointed. I thought at least <laughs> you give me Jack. Because uh. you, because you need at least 10% to get through that. Shit. Oh yeah. I want to, I want a triple pumpkin. <laughs> triple you pump. want that, you want that alcohol hiding all the flavor. I want, I'm going to ferment a this. <laughs> Man, if I'm going to have a pumpkin beer, I need to ferment the entire can of Libby's pumpkin pie mix. Right. I need it all to ferment to the highest <laughs> alcohol oh, possible. Yeah. Like, yeah, add whipped cream so the sugar continues to ferment. Oof. Oh, straight out of the can, Nick's drinking it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. I, should, I regret it want it's a golden stout, so he we're missing out on the color. He doesn't want to. Uh, he doesn't want to affect any of his glassware. And be like that shit's gonna stay in my glassware. I'm not gonna put that in there. It's forever pumpkined. 
Yeah, it'll yeah. ruin your ability to have any like nice lacy head on on future have, beer if you put that in a glass. <laughs> yeah, you. you'll have to put your. Uh, you'll, it's a you, you'll have to coating. What is, what is wash on wash that glass all by itself in the dishwasher and put it on one of those like all day soaking settings, like that five oh, hour okay. <laughs> setting. You just have, and then, then maybe it'll get clean. Yeah, and then you know what? Just put a sticker on it that just says "for pumpkin beers only." <laughs> yeah, from now on, for, right. joke, oh, joke for beer, toast beers, joke beer glass. <laughs> well, now that we've bowled you over with our opinions, what is your opinion <laughs> on it? <laughs> <laughs> to, to be honest, I'm underwhelmed. I, I no, need more flavor. Really? It's kind of weak. <laughs> yeah, it's just the the. Well, okay, so what am I going in for? Obviously, the pumpkin flavor, which is the least out of all of these flavors. Really? Yeah. Well, so, what's standing out? Is it the spice part, or the latte part, or the what? What else was in it? <laughs> yeah, pumpkin spiced latte golden stout. So it, it's it it tastes just like a a golden stout, like. Whatever whatever they have to do to make a golden stout, that's the flavor that's that's dominant in this. All right, but they were hoping in your mind you would read pumpkin and taste pumpkin even mm-hmm. if it's not there. Because they're mm-hmm. assuming you're an idiot. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I'll just say it's pumpkin. Well, and then, I mean, I bought it, so they're not wrong. Yeah. The, the bitches will love it. <laughs> I'm getting, yeah, I, the bitches. <laughs> Well, you know, I had I did have to explain uh, to some UG wearing <gasps> young ladies what the um, IPA was. <laughs> thought you'd never ask. <laughs> I thought you'd never. Ask. <laughs> well, ladies, did you like Wait, flex while it? you were while you were telling them like? Oh we'll yeah, see, so. I adjusted my shirt. And... So get ready for yes. this. <laughs> I was like, let me go pick up this 50 pound sack of flour really quick and then I'll explain it to you. Uh, what, we wouldn't what be you where use? we are today with all technology if it weren't for IP IPAs. Boat. Yeah. <laughs> IPA if the IPA boat. hadn't survived the trip. That's I'm right. still uh, waiting for that to come out. I, I think maybe the actor in Ryan Strike has messed it up, but I'm still waiting for <laughs> IPA boat. Uh, Netflix series that come out, but I'm sure it's <laughs> the history of IP. No, yeah, we could just Netflix. do kind of like a drunk history segment on it and make up our own, like mm. little play. That'd be amazing. <laughs> what okay, an who's, who's your celebrity reenactor? <laughs> Who, who's your dream celebrity reenactor? Oh, my dream celebrity reenactor. Yeah, like who's playing Rad Stacy in the drunk, drunk history? You know what? I'm gonna actually leave this to the listeners. Call in and tell me who you think should play me in the IPA reenactment voyage. (laughs) 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 I I mean, I think I'm probably just like a beer winch in there, just like guarding the barrels. I don't really know anything because I'm just a woman. Yeah. Well, you're not yeah. supposed to be on the ship. You had the stowaway. Yeah, but I think I was a stowaway. There was a woman like, that was the key you know. to all this. Probably. I mean, women kind of did invent the whole fermenting yeah. stuff thing back in what Sumerian times. Oh, oh, so you're gonna start touting the the women started beer story. And then next going story, on telling yes. the IPA story. Yeah. Story. <laughs> this propaganda story. about women Theory. starting beer. Yeah. This myth that mm-hmm. <laughs> this woke woke beer uh history. <laughs> Welcome to woke beer history where women pretend that they invented anything at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. Yeah. I'm not listen, I'm not trying to change hearts or minds over here, but it's true. Women did discover beer. Sorry guys. <laughs> what? Oh man. Nick Cutter Mike. I'm going to drink a man's drink. I'm going to drink my pumpkin spice latte in silence. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And and beer really did save the world. I mean, honestly. Like I know now mm-hmm. we're like going back into history, but beer and wine 
save the world from dysentery. Just share this mm -hmm. fact, known shit right here. So that's what kind of trips me out about, you know, folks who, and I'm not trying to, I don't think there's anybody who doesn't drink beer that listens to this podcast. So I'm not trying to like bemoan any kind of beliefs or whatever. But if but, you are, please But if you know. are, like, that's kind of interesting. Call in. Yeah, let us know. Uh, Do we why, have any listeners to us <laughs> that, that, that don't, don't drink, drink beer? beer. Or don't drink at all or are against it. Um, similarly, how can you be against something that literally did um, do a, a great thing for humanity? Yeah. Be real. And it still is. I mean, we're doing great, right, guys? Well, what? Yeah, obviously. What? Very successful. <laughs> a lot of success. <laughs> all stemming from heard. beer. And I owe it all to beer. Yep. <laughs> the sort the, uh, the what's Homer Homer's line. huge and Homer's line oh the, okay <laughs> the the uh Homer's what's Hom that was Homer's Barney beer? no but there is like Homer says uh, the the oh, hey, solution Homer. and the source and solution to all my problems whatever yes well I mean I'm, I'm there's that it. too but you know you can't solve problems unless you have some problems exactly <clears throat> so you know you're welcome for that now you can feel help great you, about your day me. happy friday <laughs> so today's an interesting day for me i was reminded of something it's 10 25 when we're recording this i know that that's no big secret to everybody we nope. do record it what? a couple days before it drops bah, 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 bah. i know that today Man. you're listening to this Damn today it. nobody ever tells me anything but uh, on the 25th uh was the day that i started at new belgium and started like my journey into craft beer in 2010 it's kind of crazy anyway i was just reminded of that little factoid wow. today 10 2010 as the as the birds uh uh chirp in unison oh can you hear my damn bird sorry them damn birds <laughs> birds i have I have quite the ecosystem going on in my house right now. So I've got a cat, a bird, two dogs. Wow. Yeah, We've already been, already been culturing, but uh, now it's official. Yeah. Um, Nick, do you have uh, something to discuss with the group? <laughs> yes. Um... How about mm -hmm. how about would you would you my nope. fellow co-hosts be interested in a um word association beer naming segment? Sure. Sure. <laughs> we might okay. cut it off in like 30 seconds, but yes. <laughs> Would you be interested in it if it was funeral glossary terms? 100%. <laughs> well, I know one person would be. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Right, so this is a uh, this is no wrong answers. First first style that comes in your head. Um, every, every answer can be stout. <laughs> stout. It can't always be dark and dreary. Yeah, and uh, Rad Stacy, feel free to showcase your knowledge of these terms. Okay. So am I supposed to just like shout out a beer it's, that it's we Halloween along week, with so. this? Okay. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna say a term commonly found in a funeral home, and you tell me what style of beer okay, would perfect. bear this name. Yes. For example. Hmm, uh, body donation. Ooh, body donation. I'm going to say brown ale. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that just like really pops into my head. It's a little bit, and you know, it's good. Everybody's, everybody tends to, to like it and agree with it, but not everybody's going to order that either. Damn. Like bo body donation is kind of this, thing that feels good on paper up until the end and then you're like ah, i might do something else so uh, not sure i want to go but yeah and that's the kind of when you see a brown ale on the on the menu you're kind of like well oh, i know i like it and it's cool but maybe not today and that's how i feel about 
how folks feel about body donation in general when I talk to them about it. <laughs> so <laughs> and that was like a really weird answer, but <laughs> I, I would have said that was, that was more, more than I ever anticipated an answer having behind it. So, okay, cool. Congratulations. Red, it's a red ale. It's red ale. It's a, oh, okay. There's going to be a lot yeah. of red in the in donation. All right. All right. All right, next term, Chapel of Rest. Ooh, Chapel of Rest is white ale for sure. Oh, dang. Oh, wow. Remember white ale? Remember <laughs> white IPAs? I remember white ale. Remember white IPAs? Wasn't that, that thing? Yeah. I guess it could go? be like a session IPA too. No, Accumulation is a white IPA, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Now th- there's something for people to bring back. <laughs> bring back the white IPA. It never left. You guys just stopped yeah. caring. Yeah. <laughs> there's there's like nobody out there like it never left except it did leave because I can't buy it anywhere. Oh, I'm sure it's still on a shelf somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not that, not that you'd want it. I love gold. Mm. All right. Let's keep going. Death mask. Ooh, death mask. The jalapeno stout, uh, pepper pepper (laughs) stout. Nice. That's a weird flex. Um, Yeah. Let me know if you guys want to know what any of these are. I mean, well, the death mask is, you know, what it's basically um, kind of a, you know, a mold of your loved one's face after they, they pass. Very it nice. Is, it is, you know, what oh. it, what it sounds like. And actually the, um, is it the, uh, the mask for the person that you actually practice on for CPR is actually, um, it's all from a woman who was like found in a river and her face just looked so peaceful that they made, um, wow. and a, That's kind of an forever original. the face yeah. of the doll that you practice on. I didn't yes, know that. It's really interesting. Nobody told me that when I made out with my uh, CPR dummy. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm creeped out. You're like, this dude's that's hot. somebody's death mask. <laughs> this is hot. <laughs> like, bro, um, that's somebody's real death mask. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> and Jimmy was just practicing on that like five minutes ago mm-hmm. and didn't clean it. Yeah. <laughs> now we're supposed to practice making out. <laughs> But man, death mask. I don't know, like what kind of. I feel like that's maybe like a barley wine. Ooh, oh, that's good. Dang. One. That's good one. All right. I'm having yeah. a thinking. If, if we we're awarding points, you both would have gotten a point. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of death mask, I'm having a slice. Of, I'm caught up with Nick. I'm having a slice monumental discovery, and it's got a. It's a skull. With its that top, the, the top of the skulls is cut off, cut off, and inside the skull, it's like a hop, like a a, a dead hop plant uh, uh, herb. What? Whatever. Yeah. And so there you go, monumental you know, discovery. Well, all hops are dead when it's you like put if, them into the beer. If Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones found those <laughs> dead hops with a hop in it. <laughs> West Coast IPA. Hop. Um, uh, Nick, have you seen the Alks on that uh, monumental discovery? Oh, I have not. All right, it's got Citra, Ruaka, and Nelson, and it is donated to the show by Wazoo Corvette. Um, all right, um, uh, it's a West Coast IPA. So, uh, Stacy, do you have an Alk gate? We're having playing the Alk game. Do you have a Guess you want to guess what it, the Alks are on it? On that one, mm-hmm. um, I'm gonna say. Wait, what's the style? Just West Coast West IPA. Coast IPA. Uh, seven point seven. Seven point seven. And Nick, Nick has a, mm-hmm. has a little advantage since he's had the beer. So I have. Um, what's the threshold for double? Is it um, usually seven five? It's eight. Yeah. Eight. yeah, but you said. Yeah. Oh, did you say it's a dipa? No, it's it's no, a it's, it's a, a, a single. Okay. Yeah, okay. A single, a single West range. Coast. 
It feels hot. Like I want to say it's eight. I think I'm uh, Brad Stacy's close, but I'm gonna go one higher. I'm gonna say it's eight. Oh, dollar, Bob. You guys have both gone over. It's six eight on the Alx. Wow. Dang. But it felt hot. Now I want to go open it. I'm gonna go <laughs> open that one with this. All right. <laughs> Stupid Share white ale. All right, any, any more, uh, Nick? You want to throw out there? <laughs> what? What am any I doing? More, any more you got? You want to throw out there? Oh yeah, you you want to keep going? We're we gonna. Sure. You want to? But while we're ahead, this one. Give what us do we want to do? Let's do two more. Two more. Two more. It is Halloween almost. This is Halloween. Let's see. <laughs> How about grief retreat? Grief retreat. Jeez, that's I'm some like grief. new age bullshit. I'm that's always gonna be like grief retreat. Yeah, that's a cold IPA for fucking sure. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a that's a that's a triple IPA because you just want to get sauced when you're gre- and grieving it. <laughs> when you're at your away, grief and you're away. It's, yeah, you're on a retreat. <laughs> you're on a retreat, so I assuming you're away from your responsibilities. And then you're also True. grieving, so but so you just want to get freaking blitzed. But here's the people that go on grief retreats. Okay, there are people that don't have responsibilities. Okay, <laughs> they're like independently, yeah. they're independently wealthy, and or, they're or probably actually else drinking seltzers. If I'm things. honest, they're probably drinking white claws <laughs> <laughs> on your grief retreat. Yeah, I'm just picturing grief a bunch of these like. Not- I'm just picturing a bunch of these like really rich women going like, I just don't know. Like I just haven't been through anything that's like this hard before. And like, it's just Blackberry white claws, guys, like really getting me. Through I had it, to you know? go on a grief retreat guys. You guys, I'm going to check in. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be for somebody that they didn't even know to It'd be like yeah, this, like second distant- cousin that, uh, like great 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 uncle once <laughs> mentioned away. at Thanksgiving. Yeah. Oh, and normal guy. people don't go on grief retreats. Like your regular everyday folks yeah. don't. We just don't have the time or money to be able to do that. <laughs> Damn millennials <laughs> and their grief retreats. So it might even be like wine spritzers and champagne the whole time. I don't even know no, that yeah, beer is allowed yeah, at grief retreats. Beer. Nobody's drinking beer at grief retreat. That's for no. sure. No, they're doing cocaine and drinking claws. <laughs> what? That's what they're doing. Hey. Yeah. Wow, that sounds, sounds, maybe hey, I'm, maybe I'm going to go I'm on a grief <laughs> retreat now. <laughs> What'd you do on your grief retreat? Oh, yeah. I, was on, I don't know. I was on cocaine the whole Wait. time. Wait, that's an option? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Walmart. last one. Spiritual will. Spiritual, Spiritual will. will. Um, I'll let Mikey take this oof. one. That's a that's a strong ale. I think. Yeah, I would nice. say. Yeah. What is a spiritual will now? I don't know. That one I can't. It's a letter, letter to a loved one containing a message for them mm-hmm. after you die. Ooh, yep. that's a good one. Just to be like, you yeah. know, I I always hated that dog. Um, <laughs> I had one of my employees told me the other day that he wants to have his entire service um, written and run by artificial intelligence, which I think is <laughs> really amazing. Like, I, I really do. Hello, chat. Chat GBT. Come up with a kick ass funeral for me. Note that right. I'm a really awesome guy and have, uh, are really built really well and have lots of friends. <laughs> they love me. They think I am awesome. And I'll write a <laughs> eulogy. I I think it's great. I'm 100 percent behind it. Like it just says in the pre in the pre it just says um, you know obituary to be written by Chat GPT. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Do it, guys. So because it is almost Halloween and you all are listening to this just before Halloween, I would like Some. to know um, what beers are you pairing with all of the candy. 
you know what what are some mm. good candy and beer classic candy and beer uh, pairing tonight at my bowling league there's this grown ass man he's probably like in his 70s and he brought a gigantic bag of smarties with him <laughs> oh shit just for himself what? so and he, Nobody else he was it. eating them the whole time like i thought he was going to have a uh. Some kind of like diabetic episode. I couldn't believe how many. Like, watch out for this guy. He's gonna... he consumed. Yeah, it was wild. Toward the end, he was getting a bunch of gutter balls, and I was like, "You need to start stop eating that shit." Dude. Like, <laughs> he has some real Smart. food. Well, because he was geez. too. He wasn't focused because he was too concerned that somebody was having his Smarties while he was back was turned bowling. <laughs> yeah. He's like, "Hey, well, I hey, you were, hey, was... you were trying to get the Smarties, were you?" Go well, ahead. I did say I'm like, hey, I left those when I was a kid. He's like, well, feel feel free to have one. <laughs> oh, one. <laughs> one. One smarty, okay. not one, one. package. One yeah, smarty, smarty, okay? I didn't know exactly what he meant, so I waited for him to go up to bowl, and I took one one roll of oh. smarties. Oh, uh, no. Party I did. Fun. I know, and I paired them with PBR. They're, it was great. <laughs> He's going to get on the... Uh, the whatever group chat Did you or dump the Facebook, pack of in your whatever a Facebook like, group you guys right. have, he's gonna get on there and say somebody <laughs> took a whole package of a Smarties, and I said just one, and they <laughs> took the whole package. I counted. Man, um, yeah, if I would have poured them in the beer, I mean that would be so many nucleation points. I mean it would have just Ooh. Gone flat, I like think really. May, fast. I think maybe Scotty B's made us Marty Zike PA. Sorry, your beer's around Sorry. long enough to go flat. Hey, I'm frozen. Oh, frozen. Nick's frozen. It looks like I'm falling out of my chair. <laughs> you're drunk uh, already. We know that you're not. You're supposed to wait sure. to the second hour before you're drunk. Jeez. So yeah. unprofessional. First Don't hour, you're nice. supposed to keep it together yeah, and be a normal beer. podcaster guy. But the second <laughs> hour, get to let loose. Blow it out. Everyone blow it out this weekend, all right? So I will say that my, I mean, I think my favorite, I have a couple of favorite candy bars, but I really am a big fan of Twix. And Twix with like a nice dry stout. Oh, that could work. I'd definitely go with that. I think it, that sounds really good. I don't want any candy with, yeah, any uh, candy with a uh, pastry stout or, or any kind of like adjunct. An adjunct heavy beer doesn't go well with candy. It's got to be something clean. The beer's got to be clean. Yeah. Well, what would you pair with the worst candy ever, which is Necco wafers? Oh, <laughs> that is Pilsner. a bad. That is a bad candy. Like, yeah, Pilsner. Man, like, do they like, still make that shit? Fucking Necco wafers. Yeah, what is they that? Sh- they, sh- they shouldn't have. They yeah, shouldn't have compressed. They should have like died in the like 1920s when it was invented or whenever the hell it was invented. <laughs> <laughs> that's so like gross. that's like it's like candy from like when they started figuring out candy. And then it just somehow kept around. Like at some point, somebody said, "All right, we've advanced past Necco wafers. We can all stop eating them now. We figured out that more sugar is better." And I was like, "Oh no, I still enjoy. I still enjoy a slight bit of sugar with my wafer. With my they were with my, uh, first produced in in 1847." Oh, <laughs> yeah. that sounds right. <laughs> not changed this the uh, formula. They have not no. updated. At least breweries figured out that they got to update their IPAs. Necco wafers <laughs> like, nah, yeah. we're not updating. Necco wafers never went hazy. <laughs> no, nope. yeah. Like, well, the thing too is like you know, I think that they were all produced in 1847. They never made another batch. It's all just the same ones that were continuing yeah, to just, eat. And that's why they're so bad. Cause they're like they're 200 years old. The same batch. <laughs> <laughs> shelf life. <laughs> indefinite uh, shelf life. to get rid of. I bought a 500,000 cases in 1999 and I still got to get rid of them. Oh, it says I meant to say. it says here that production of Necco wafer candy was suspended in July, 2018 Uh-oh. when Necco went bankrupt. 
<laughs> As it should have. I can't believe it took them that long to go bankrupt. Yeah. How'd they hang on? No, no offense, Necro. They were living off those. Just, that that they, they were just at the height of their powers like in the early 1900s. <laughs> and they are just making money hand over fist. <laughs> So they still yeah. had yeah. So they constant still had production from 1847 Funding. to 2018. <laughs> yeah, you gotta right. be fucking kidding me. Let's get that. And then they reintroduced them. They went bankrupt in 2018. And it was reintroduced in 2020, like during the pandemic. Like we, <laughs> like we weren't having a bad enough time. You want right. to reintroduce some Necco wafers? You know what the, some candy. You know what people need? <laughs> Necco wafers. Come back. Let's get it back, guys. Come on. It would probably kill the COVID. Wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> Call in. Did you eat Necco wafers and never get COVID? <laughs> Somebody needs a read. Let me know. Dr. Fauci, have you looked into this? <laughs> yeah, what happened to that guy? Yeah, well, he Man. wasn't eating Necco wafers. That's what happened. Now you don't uh, see him anymore. He's living off the wafer. Yeah. <laughs> so that wafer and- money. And then I only got one more message from my homie on um, Untapped. Uh oh. He asked me if I'm good in groups. And I don't know if he meant like groups like out in the world or like groups on Untapped. And I said, what kind of groups? And he never got back to me. Wow. Damn it. That's weird because you you let him have, you know, you, you gave him a little bit of slack there. Like, you know, he, he gave him an opening to say something at least, and he didn't take I it. I know. That's He's like, a, if I may ask, how are you on I mean, in, in groups? And I'm just like, what? In groups? in groups of what? It must be. Yeah, that's what I said. I said, I don't do groups, bro. Again, this. Yeah. I, I, solo. I, I ride solo. Speaking to somebody in the future right now, maybe 50-ish years in the future, if you're like trying to research on how when AI and the bots took over and like how it all started, this is how it started. Their bots are experimenting on untap and DMing people <laughs> weird shit. This is the test. And they're like trying to, they're trying, I don't know what, I don't know, I don't let me explain how AI is going to take over the world, but like this is how they're starting. They're like feeling out like how to respond to people in different ways and untaps how they're doing it because nobody's yeah. going to listen to us. If I start going around to the American media going like, Hey man, some weird shit's going on in a tap. <laughs> uh, I think this is the start of something. You guys need to look into it. They'll be like, yeah, yeah, whatever you dumb beer geek. Tell us about the IPA story. Why don't you? I'm like, Oh wait, um, you don't know about the IBA story. <laughs> Mm. Oh my god! And then I'll get distracted, <laughs> well, and I'll and forget I, all about that. The untap, the AI is taking on over untap DMs. Well, and I can see why they would go after the untapped people. I mean, we're very malleable, <laughs> you know, just very yeah, we're always drunk and eager to respond. Yeah, we're like, hey, bro. Yes, eager to respond. We're lonely. Yeah, and yeah. you know, they're like, <laughs> and they're all, hey, if you just give me forty dollars, I can do this thing. I'm like, that's ah, cool, man. Here's forty bucks. Like what? Like what else you need? <laughs> He's like, well, I need the coats. Yeah, well, we, um, we help you. well, I've been having problems getting into your water system in your city. City, do you know anybody that can open some doors and unlock some things in your water system? Oh yeah, I could, I, th- I gotta know a guy that works for the city. He could probably do that for you. Oh great! And that's how it started. <laughs> Man, well, speaking of DMs. Um, Rad Doug and the Nick are having even more moments now, <laughs> just which is pretty incredible. Um, it was, it. It was pretty, <laughs> so it was pretty funny. I was out in the shop and I was like, Hey, like, so you guys are what, like, talking late shit with each other or what? And he's like, Hey, he's like, Baby, he's like, Don't be jelly. <laughs> That's what he said oh, to me. He you. said, Don't be jelly. And I was like, You know what? <laughs> I ain't jelly. You guys talk uh-huh. about your your spinny machines all you want. I don't give a shit. That's right. Wait, uh-huh. cut things. We're gonna, <laughs> We're gonna cut, cut things, things that didn't needed to be cut. Wait, did you get a hazy roller? <laughs> We're gonna take got, big ooh, things and make I, them into smaller <gasps> things. <laughs> no, but you know I'm gonna make an adapter to roll my hazies on this thing, right? Yeah, <laughs> you gotta have a ro- hazy rolling setting. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, the ultimate haze roller. 
Mikey, you just gave me my first project. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> I still gotta, I still gotta buy a hazy roller for the studio. So uh, get ready, it's, out, oh, it's yeah. coming. Get ready, and I'm, I, I can just have it during the whole episode. If I have a hazy to drink, I can just keep it rolling the whole, like towards the end, till towards the end of the show, just, just constantly yeah. rolling like the Seven Eleven hot dogs. And I would say, like Nick, you should feel pretty special too, because like Doug doesn't really talk to a lot of people. Like he, he's no, highly annoyed. I- and like you should, you should feel pretty good you should, because yeah. he would. I I'm honored he and <laughs> excited to uh, to listen to his wealth of knowledge on this subject. Awesome. Yes. No. I know it's a rare opportunity, and <laughs> I've been invited into the lion's cave. Like <laughs> it's so good. I yeah. love it. My cat well, the beer, the beer fridge is out there too, so you know it's a great haven to hang out. <laughs> Oh yeah. Sorry. Be the, prepared the for cat photos of us drinking your beers echo. while yes, spinning metal perfect. things. Yeah. Perfect. Love it. Hello. Don't. Hello. 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 <laughs> don't wear don't wear sandals out there. Well, that's uh, well, is chips no that good. mother was that mother nature? R- real that, men don't wear shoes. Was that mother nature? Shoe. Did mother nature just tell me not to wear sandals? Mother nature, is that you? <laughs> Oh my god, what the fuck? Mother Nature! Talk to me! <laughs> oh, she she hung up, I guess. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> I even creeped out Mother Nature. She's like, mm, I'm out of here. Uh, all right, I- Iceland, I'm moving on to Iceland. Back to America. I gotta go get another beer. All right. I'll be right back. I don't, I don't think Brad Stacey mentioned that she was having an ice box. Did she, Nick? Oh, did I don't you? know. Did I? Mm. Yeah. Um, I was drinking an Einstock white ale. Oh, the uh, tailgate beer. Yes. Did from it, Iceland. Yeah, for all you Icelandic that. listeners. I know that, that Einstock is like the, the Budweiser of Iceland, but still, it's really great. What do they think of, of it? Baseball. What do they think of it in Iceland? What, or like, what's a, the um, opinion of ice, is it in Iceland? Yeah, I believe it's very well received. Um, Icelanders are very, very loyal and supportive of all of their brewers. But there's so many like teeny tiny um, brewers in like every little village that, Ooh. you know, Einstock is kind of available everywhere. But then you can go to your local, you know, down the street farm and get a growler filled of whatever you want to. What? So, yeah. So I think it just kind of depends on where you are and what you're into, but no, they're very, I mean, they make great beer and I know it's before, but their, their beers, their beer scene and their ice cream scene are like out of hand. So what? Good. they've got an ice cream scene too. Yes. The ice cream, best ice cream I've ever fucking had. So they have ice- micro, micro neighborhood breweries. They've got yes. an ice cream scene and they've like got cool sheep everywhere. People. And <laughs> and then they they wonder why oh, we yeah. like why we like to come there. Like why are you come there? Yeah. Like um, do you not understand? You have an ice cream scene, a a yes, a very a micro beer scene, and it's all like nice and like pretty green green. All of the water is like you can drink water just off the side of the road, and it won't hurt you. Like, mm, I mean, it's road water. It's like, it's heaven. Mm, Iceland water. is the fucking coolest place I've ever been. We're going to Newfoundland next year, and I'm really excited. But go, I mean, the whole has, time you're going to be has, like, I wish I was in Iceland. No, it does have a steep hill to climb to get there because Iceland was really epic for me. And yeah. I have high hopes for Newfoundland, especially because they have a place called Dildo where I'm going. And <laughs> I'm super excited about that, of course, because Dildo Brewing Company, I'm spending all my money on swag there. I'm just going to walk in with five, <laughs> 500 yeah. bucks. Every like, sticker, sweatshirt, and keychain you could get. Yes. They're all just like, yeah, we, we love it when Americans come here and do the dildo jokes. Oh, That's I great. know that they will. I'm going to walk in just holding a dildo and say like, hey, what do I, you know, hey, hey guys. Hey. And they're like, yeah, uh, we've saying, never seen I'm that. Not I heard you're waiting for me. <laughs> Are you going to tell us the IPA story too? Oh, God. No, I'm just going to walk uh, in and say, hey, um... I'm just going to say, hey, like, what's the story behind the name? 
<laughs> and just let them tell yeah. me their dildo origin story, just like the IPA origin story. Yeah. Hopefully it's great. <laughs> <laughs> or they'll tell me to get the fuck out. One of these yeah. two things could happen. No, that's too right. nice. Please reboard your yeah, Go get a so beer. Go to get a beer, Red Stacey. Listen, ma'am. Okay, I'll be right back. Um, Causing a scene. Nick, uh, was there any other culture items you wanted to share? Oh, man. I wish. All right. There's not much happening that's good. craft beer news okay. lately, we're, uh, though. We're, other uh, than paint, paint your pumpkin and drink our beer. Or... Oh. Uh, drink beer out of your scarecrow and drink our beer. Um, yes, a slip a slip a beer to uh, you know a neighborhood dad or you know neighborhood per <laughs> neighborhood person. Hey, is this like a like while they're, situation? while they're ta- no while they what yo I, I gotta go I still gotta go around and 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 follow the children trick or treating and. You know, it might be nice if you go up to a door and be like, well, one of the dads is like, hey, man, here you go. It gives you a little, gives you a little can of beer. Uh, oh, this is this is the trick or treat night yeah. advice is what you're saying. Right. Like, yeah, if you're handing out candy, you know, if you see a dad in yeah. distress, be like, hey, bro, here you go. Have a nice treat. And just be, yeah. you know, be discreet, but, you know, give him a beer. Right. I like it. Just to advice. I. So are you? Are you gonna set up like a station like on the front lawn? Uh, You're gonna have like a lawn chair and your I, New Balance I, I polished would. up. If our neighborhood was was a like, what's the sign to let dads know that hey, beer? Yeah. Beer. Ooh, that that's tricky because it's a it's a kids kind of night, so you can't like right. exactly put up a sign that says beer here. Like but no, that, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like how then you're, then you're in that are you going to alert the other dads? Then you're in that neighborhood creepy guy that lets the teens come over and play your pinball machine in your garage. Like, oh, oh yeah, come on over, yeah. guys, and play my that's pinball wrong. machine in my garage. It's pretty cool, huh, that I've got a pinball machine. Take your shoes off. Oh, yeah. What? Hang out for a while. <laughs> but there's metal shavings everywhere. Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> No, don't worry about that leave. That's just for beer. <laughs> my beer roller. Yeah, it's just my beer roller. I don't do any kind of serious work on it. <laughs> um, no, but yeah, you got to No, you, you, you just got to you you'll know the look and you'll just just put like a just hand it to him cuz it's dark. You just yeah. hand that beer to him and just say, "Hey man, here you go." Okay, thanks. Wait, are we talking about like trick or treating for beer? Or? We're talking about you know <laughs> when you see. Well, it could be a mom too. I left right? for a minute. I'm. I don't mean I to uh, single out but those was... dads, but a a per a person uh, having to uh, you know be the adult on the trick or treating, watching the kids, and then you're right. handing out candy. You see a distressed parent, <laughs> and you're like, "Hey, here's a beer." Okay. Yeah, T- toss them a brew. Yeah, they'll, they'll, like, they'll pick them up. Uh, give them a pickup. Because, like, Halloween, it seems like for a working class person with a child, it seems like Halloween night is always a weeknight. It's always a weeknight, right? It's like, what the fuck is going on with Halloween? That it's always a Monday or a Tuesday or a Wednesday or just like you're just like fucking exhausted and you're like, ah, now I got to go out trick or treating. Ah. It's just it that it's why does it do that? Is that the is, oh, was that the matrix <laughs> that it's always Monday through Friday? It's never well, a fun. Weekend. I'm going to a Halloween party on Saturday this Saturday, and then I'm just gonna hand out candy and make spooky stew on Tuesday. Is it on Tuesday yeah, this year? Yeah, it's on right? Tuesday. I think spooky stew. Yeah, it's yeah. Tuesday. I always make spooky stew. It's just beef stew. I just say it's spooky because it's <laughs> Halloween. Oh, so you yeah. hand out you hand out stew it on is Halloween beef stew night. Season. Like, yeah, I just go. bring a ladle to everybody and say, open Trick up your fucking tree, bag. You're like, oh oh my go. gosh, that would be awesome. <laughs> be awesome. Ladle, I just ladled here. all your candy with beef. Get out of here. And, and guess, your Campbell's, bitch. Uh, guess what house is going to get <laughs> egged and teepeed into oblivion on one <laughs> late Tuesday night? Beef stew house. No, I hand out great candy. I know the neighborhood kids. I give them whole candy bars. I give the bullshit to the kids I don't know. <laughs> and, you know, 
<laughs> yeah. What is that? Like your Necco wafers. Yeah. Well, here's some Necco, Necco wafers. wafers you prick. <laughs> Necco, here's some night. Here's some here. 18, 1878 Necco wafers for you. <laughs> little piece of shit. Like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I better get them wet first. They'll cut your throat. <laughs> you, better, you better dip them in some uh, Cool Whip to at least make them palatable. I heard these are great in Mountain Dew. <laughs> um, are you guys dressing up at all, though? You got any parties you're going no. to? No. No parties, but yes, dressing up. So I'm going to be Fran from Dodgeball. I'll nice. <laughs> Deep reference. <laughs> You know that shit's going to be epic. You know it's going to be so good. I've wanted to dress up as her for like years, so I'm finally doing it. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. You I've got the brow? Yep, I'm going to so I haven't gone to my eyebrow lady for a while cuz I like want it to really be like natural. Oh, then, oh you got to be movie gotta, quality. I just have to fill in the middle, but like they're pretty bushy right now, so it's like perfect. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be real good. <laughs> it's perfect. Why are you always staring at me? <laughs> <laughs> I was, we were, uh, spoiler alert for Ben Cot, we were at Barrel House and there was a guy wearing a Lafleur jersey. Yes. I'm so good. <laughs> yeah. Cramming in your cram hole, Lafleur. Um, yeah, I thought about doing like an average Joe's, but Fran is my favorite. She's my absolute favorite. And I just need the hillbilly teeth, the unibrow and the purple outfit. I'll be set. Be good. Pictures to come. Don't worry. Also, would anyone be interested in my second place pie recipe? I can post it on the perfect Ooh, core. Yes. Want to make second place pie? I can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'll be the best second place pie you ever had. Put it that on. Sounds like the girl yeah. you didn't settle for, but okay. Right. Put it on the. You know what? She's, dis- she's reliable. <laughs> right. Put it on the Discord, and you can put it on the the forum. Perfect. I'll do that. I'll put it on the poor um poor um uh, get it poor um <laughs> poor um so I opened up a rice crispy boys oh, imperial nice. lager fucking hell Ooh. I look I saw lager and didn't realize it's eight point eight percent trying to get what? me boys Fucked a up over here. No, that's the Alex my pumpkin beer should have had, damn it. Dude, <laughs> freaking Imperial Lager. I was I took a first sip and I was like, man, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's wild. It's... I do like me some crispy boys though. So thank you, B A Cyclone, B. A. for this Cyclone. uh beer. It's really good. Yeah, Brood and I keep cold. Thanks for the yeah. directions. Drink fresh. Yeah, Thanks breweries. Breweries, you got. You guys don't need to put the uh, keep cold on the the cans. I, I we all we're all no. We it's know the, it's for the distributors. <laughs> yeah, they're like begging the distributor, like, could you please, please, for God's <laughs> sakes, try and keep this cold? Yeah, maybe. Um, we'll see. You know what? We'll put it in the shade. Yeah, let's. Yeah, we'll put it in the partial shade. That's the best I could do. It'll be shaded. It's best I It'll do. be shaded from 11 a.m. till 1 p.m. and then after that. <laughs> <laughs> For El Segundo's Hop Taker West Coast Double IPA made with Citra and Nelson and Simcoe, and it's eight on the Alks, and it's the first time in cans. Hot Taker, so it sounds good. El Segundo knows how to make beer, and those are good hops, so. I left my wallet in El Segundo. Yeah. Wow. Oh. That is the first time that joke has been made. I want to note it. Note it, everyone. Perfect Pour, episode 533. El Segundo joke. Made it. Finally. Uh, um, yeah, finally. The world's been waiting for that for a long time. Almost as long as it took the IPA boat to get to India. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's still on its way, guys. It's still there. It's yeah, there it's yet. out there. It's right about halfway. It's right about with that yeah. that point where they're like, "I am the captain now." The guy, he's like about to take over the IPA boat. 
<laughs> oh, great. Yeah, that, <laughs> that guy is like, look at me, right? look at me, look at me. I am the IPA now. I am the IPA now. That's I'm, lager, lager stalking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a lager. Yeah, that should be a mean. It's a lager talking to the IPA, and IPA is, is Tom Hanks. And and the logger's the guy oh, taking over the body. He's like, look at me, look at me. I'm the IPA now. <laughs> that, that. And never here's the big secret, everybody. The fucking IPA ship never made it. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. It's sunk. Yeah, we're we're got sunk at the bottom. We're got back it. to Queen Queen Elizabeth, whatever number was Queen then. And she was like and they're like, oh, my queen, I'm sorry, the IPA boat. Yes, it, it, it was taken over by pirates and then it sank. It never made it to India. They're like, we can't tell the people about this. We have to <laughs> come up with a story and a fun yeah. story. And a beverage. Yeah. To go along with this fun story. Oh, wow. We've really found some deep shit about the IPA story. <laughs> It's down there with Ocean Gate. <clears throat> yep. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. That's what they're exploring. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's why it imploded because they got real close to the truth. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> yeah they just couldn't let that shit yeah, happen. The Titanic director guy, he's going to do a whole <laughs> film Titanic about. Titanic director yeah, guy. Yeah, that guy. He's going to do a whole film about the trying to find the IPA boat. Like we're. From the, with a homemade submarine. Yeah, a submersible, and they're gonna get deep. They get these deep ocean pictures of of the IPA boat, and they're like, "Look, here it is." I think we found the <laughs> first IPA right here at the bottom of the, the Indian Ocean of seaweed growing that looks like hops. And you're like, "Oh, are those Ooh, the mysteriously hops? sea hops." <laughs> no, no can... IPA has been made with sea, sea hops yet. Ooh, so. Everything you think you know. Forget about yeah, it. Yeah, everything you, don't know, you know shit about the IP. About shit. <laughs> you don't know. Uh, Bullet. Hey, let me uh, hear your opinion on this beer. Boulevard Brewing has a cinnamon bun nope. ale. It is an imperial brown with cinnamon and vanilla. A nine five alk brown ale that is wow. a cinnamon bun. See, okay, brown ale. They put the Sounds kitchen like sink in there, but they brought the alks. Yeah, they brought the alks. Bring the Alks. If you're going to mundane me, bring the Alks. If you're going to put a bunch of bullshit in there, at least numb my palate with alcohol. Yeah, give right. Me the, give me them out. N- yeah. <laughs> Make me not care what I'm drinking anymore. Who cares? It's mine. God, wow. that, that hangover sounds so bad. <laughs> that, what you just described, that, that can a lot of, of sugar. Cares just sounds like you. Sugar. That's eulogy in a can right there. Wow. Just dead. I can't. Yeah. Um, Firestone Walker's got that para, Parabolitas out. Oh, yeah. 16 ounce of cans of Parabolita. Uh, uh, you can get that, Nick? The caramel salt. I don't know. 2023 I'm, I'm Parabolita. I'm hesitant on that one. I don't know if it's the can that words me out or the salted caramel version Parabola. I'm with you. I'm with you, Nick, on that one, honestly. Yeah. I'm. And uh, <laughs> I am interested to find Maui Brewing's version of a Kokua beer, which is that uh, uh, the session IPA that everyone's making for Maui. Mm-hmm. Um, really. mm. And Same. so Maui Brewing's got one, obviously. So I'm going to try to find that you one. You know, uh, I'll reach out to my bestie actually out in Hawaii and see if she sees any on the big island. Well, we, I mean, we get Maui brewing here, so I'm uh, hoping it's We do, come. but it might not. I don't know. Like distribution might just be a little bit either slow or, <clears throat> you know, hard to get to the mainland for and, whatever reason. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So, I'll check yeah, in on it. Yeah, check in on that. I'll check in. I'll see what's and happening. And uh, to uh, back up what Rad Stacy was saying about the little little in the underground <laughs> talk that the biz- beer business does about what they're planning for 2024, uh-huh. the market now has a full shelf all the way from left to right of tall boy cans. Yeah, it's boy. all tall boy cans, yeah. baby. 
And were you influenced to buy some? Just yeah, like I was. There was a Sculpin <laughs> Tall Boy, and it had a good date on it. And I was like, all right, oh, I'll get good. me a Sculpin Tall Boy. So yeah, I got a Sculpin Tall Boy <laughs> waiting for me. I see you industry gurus deciding what I want and yep. I raise you yep. all my money. <laughs> and I agree yeah. with this. So I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm with you. You guys got convinced me. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's where it's at right now for uh 2023, 2024. Uh, it's all about those singles, uh, pre premix hard alcohol and then high alcohol mm-hmm. beer is the ticket. That is nice. the ticket. It's what we're doing for whatever reason. <laughs> <laughs> but it's because of awesome being awesome. They, yeah, they consulted yeah. the runes and they said, let's get people fucked up. They're ready. Wait, I've got to look it up. Or... Oh, wait. Oh, right, shit. Sorry. Well, not you. It's Mikey we'll getting get it. The... Yeah, come on. No, it's a computer did that. I didn't do it. Jump in the voicemails. Uh, we see you over there, diddly uh, bopping with your right hand, uh, pressing what, buttons. What do you got for some uh, looking out for, us, <laughs> Nick? Here. So uh, I haven't had this in a while. I don't know if it's ever been in the can before, but Drake's Foraging Raccoon India Pale Ale. Does it have thumbs? Ooh, I've seen yes, that before, yes, but yeah, I don't, can't think of it being in a can. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, formerly, formerly a bomber, now in a can. Wow. Uh, yeah, come on, Drakes. Our our buddies at Drakes. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen. I mean, I see Drakes, but not like it's not in the forefront right now. No. Where's my draconic? I miss draconic. Oh. Yeah, come on, guys. And yeah. We have an address Man. in the show notes that you can send things to. Just Man, Cal- especially California brewers, you don't have any excuse. Yeah, we have a Sprouts. They like bombers. <laughs> it's true. Sprouts is like the last stronghold for the last bombers. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. yes, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sprouts is like the bomber. Is <laughs> like the only uh, chain that didn't get the memo about bombers. And they're like, they're like, it'll come back around, just like brass fixtures gonna come back around. Just <laughs> it's coming in back. There. Yeah, That's brass right. always there. comes back. Gold's kind of come back, like gold plated kind of things. So you know, <laughs> bombers will come back. Ah, oh, God dang it. Hold on. Everyone, hold on. I'm not looking out for shit. I'm just letting the world happen to me. Good. Oh. That's the way to be. <laughs> anyway, I'm not disappointed. <laughs> just comes after me and I'm like, oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Like, oh, hey. Not today, Satan. Not today. <laughs> not today, Satan. <laughs> Knights and white Satan. <laughs> Knights in white satin. God damn it. <sighs> Hold on, everyone. Just give me. Hey, are there 20 some voicemails? There Guys, are voicemails. Hold tight. <laughs> hold tight. Hold we tight. need a bathroom break. Hold tight. Hold tight. Any good say songs out there? Wow. Oh God, no. no. Oh. <gasps> you lie. Oh, perfect score. They're all good. Wow. This is Psycho Bear. Psycho Bear. I haven't really been able to cheer about anything but my bears. That's right. There is a reason I'm Psycho the Bear. I'm a freaking bear fan, and we just beat the Raiders. Anyway, the Raiders. Uh, Fuck yeah. As Tony Bags saw when he met me. Anyways, uh, beers. Let's talk beers. <laughs> Have an amazing <laughs> pipe works. Uh, Your bear. brain on brunch, Imperial Stout, damn good. Well, of course, it's from Chicago. Anyways, uh, I want to answer one of the questions of, uh, I think it was the rad, Stacy. Beer event. Emphasis. Definitely bigger the better. My personal favorites, Firestone Walker, before buyout, outstanding. Uh, believe it or not, Stone, again, before buyout, outstanding. Port Black. Um, it was one of my favorites. Uh, they got a new one called Dark. I am the 
dark beer guy. That's my thing. I hope to make it to full bath one day. But anyways, Ooh, yes. uh, no, what nice. else do I have? Oh, so I made it down to Agora, the good life. And on my way, I had to journey out to Chatsworth, to hand brew brewing. It was pretty good. Anyways, uh, I'm sure I'm running out of time. Uh, getting ready to fly back home. And everybody stay well. Check your dates. And why not a Burbank? Bears. Yes, I'm a big Bears fan too. So thank you for that. That is awesome. Um, speaking of Agora Hills, one of the very first official dates that Rad Doug and I went on uh, was at Lady Face Brewing Company in Agora. And wow. I don't feel like that name comes up very much anymore, but Ladyface was really ahead of its time back in the the day. 2011, 2012. Great, great folks. If you have a chance. It's a Tavern Tomoko now. It's like Tavern Tomoko and Ladyface Brewing all together, but they make amazing, amazing beers. Uh, French style, Belgian style, West Coast, American style beers changing all the time. Great food too. So next time you're there, do it. Nice reco. <laughs> um, when I heard Agora, I was like, <gasps> Agora. Wait, I've been there. Yeah. Have you been Wait. the um, Fobab, right, Stacey? I'm sorry, what? The um, Have you been to the fo the Fobab? No. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Not your industry. I feel extremely judged right now, yeah. so. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what's the Well, Fobab? good, because you are. Okay. I mean, well, shit. Psycho Bear is talking about, like, it's like a, it's like a, like a heavy beer fest, right? Festival of barrel aged beers. There you go. Oh, no, because I don't really like a lot of barrel aged beers. I wouldn't go to that, probably. Okay. Well, <laughs> but but the acronym sounds judging. amazing. Fobab. I know, Fobab. Come on. Been to Fobab. I know. I've, I've been, been to Fobab. I got that Fobab, <laughs> well, Fobab out there. I've been to Fobab. All right. Oh, yeah. Fobab. I would go. I would just pace myself. That's all. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. how uh, how crazy must Fobab be in like hour three of like is Fobab like ninety minutes so that it doesn't completely <laughs> implode before it ends? He was like power slamming fucking barley wines the whole time. <laughs> like nobody, like nobody's allowed to. Everyone has to give up. Their, it's like a key party in the seventies. Everyone has to throw their keys in the bowl before they go to Fobab. And like nobody's allowed to do anything, anything with any kind of equipment that involves keys. You're not allowed to do it. No forklifts. No cars. No golf yeah. carts. No. no I'm anything. on the website. Uh, the Festival of Wood Barrel Aged Beer. Mm-hmm. Returns to Chicago, November 3rd Chicago. 4th. I've got time. I have time, guys. Chicago. I have go. time. I'm sure you can... To defend I'm his sure legacy. Hey, guys, go fund up, me some link cash up, uh, so I can go. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm you, I'm but, sure you could double with the work-related thing on Chicago during that time. Be like some sort of thing. Yeah. I'm sure cash that lot, lots of folks need to be buried in Chicago. Right. I know this. I Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Union One Arena on Chicago's west side. It sounds freaking alluring. I'm actually into it. Yeah. No. I'd go. Why didn't you tell me last week? Jeez. I've got like no time to plan this. Uh, right. Fobab. So look uh, for Fobab. Rad Stacy at Fobab on <laughs> I, in 2024. I could have sent them an email to get like a freaking media pass. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Start, yeah. Start work. Start working that Fobab. Uh, line start massaging the Fobab back. Yeah, I mean, my just like my email to Firestone Walker when I said we are an internationally acclaimed. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Craft beer Whale, podcast. Wales <laughs> right. and Iceland love the show. <laughs> I'm sure there's some folks in between. Yeah, lots of folks in Dildo are probably listening to us right now. <laughs> Dildo loves right. Canada, so there's several people in Canada. There's one Australian dude. 
I think there's a Brazilian. Maybe a we get a New Japan. Zealander in here. We've got so we got Australia. Oh, about New Zealand. Someone from New Zealand. I don't know if we've heard from New Zealand, but those little Kiwis. Come on, Kiwis, listen to us. Come on. What else you get today? It's not at all New Zealand. That is definitely that not. My, that was not Paul McCartney. Yeah, there goes that. That was Paul McCartney trying to do a New Zealand accent. We just got canceled. <laughs> Damn it. New Zealand. The podcast syndicate <laughs> just candles, canceled us. Let's fuck it. It's Pittsburgh Tom here. I put Sir Tom. Oh, oh, here hi. having a double IPA from Trillium called Ooh. Tom Out. Trillium. Tom Avenue, C O M M Avenue, I guess. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Um, all their stuff I've ever had from Trillium has been very good, so good brewery. <clears throat> um, just wanted to say a few things. Uh, Paul uh, left a voicemail last week asking about Yingling, if it's any good. And yes, it is very good. I agree with Rad Stacy. Pretty good beer. Nice, solid, you know, nothing super special, but better than your average, uh, you know, big beer type thing. So it has some good flavor to it, and um, it's a lot of people drink it around here. So, yeah, Yingling, definitely, if you have it around, if you run into a pole, definitely pick it up. They make a lot of different Yinglings, too. There's just, I think that's the lager that's like the famous one, but they have a... Uh, Black and Tan and Lord Chesterfield, I think it's called. So Yingling Light. And I think there's like a Golden Ale. So pretty good stuff. And uh, Mikey mentioned the three rivers in Pittsburgh. Yes, there are three rivers. Hopefully none of them ever dry out because they would all dry out because they all flow into each other. But uh, (laughs) yeah, Pittsburgh's a pretty cool spot. We got some rivers and hills, mountains. A lot of greenery and not many steel mills anymore, but you got to come check it out, Mikey. I will. Um, I can't wait to hear. Rad Stacy has the the whole untapped dating scene going on. Yeah. Uh, not to right. uh, Pretty hilarious how lockdown uh, people try to take her out on dates on untapped or whatever they're doing. But <laughs> yeah, that's pretty hilarious. I, really I can't wait to hear what's going to happen on this upcoming episode. And uh, I think that's about it. So hopefully uh, Friday Night Zoom will be going on for sure on Friday. So everybody jump on there. It's a good time, and we have a lot of fun. All right. Keep up the good work. Bye. 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 Amazing. Um, yeah, I'm not trying to have a dating scene on Untap, but it is funny to string some people along to see what they say. Because I, I, I am also like what Mikey said, like trying to find out if they're real. Yeah, or I still if it don't is know. a bot. I don't know. The one, <laughs> I really the one, don't know. The one I had on the line that I eventually scared off, and yeah, I, I still <laughs> don't know. Machine. I still don't know if it was a guy posing as a girl, if it was a real girl, or if it was a bot. I, I. It could have been any of the three still. I don't know. But I, but I still I, don't understand how I scared it off, though. Like, why are you here? <laughs> like, why couldn't you push through whatever jokey shit I was pulling to, like, push through to your to get to your agenda? Like, that, <laughs> they, they're just like, nah, not worth it. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say because like if you if it was a bot and you scared it off, like what does that say <laughs> about? I like you probably made it so much better, but I don't know if that's good. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that's the thing. I don't know. I yeah, I had some serious uh, inner. Uh, I had to look look at the man in the mirror after that and be like, "Is it you, Mike? <laughs> Did you do this?" <laughs> Like I gotta st- at some point I gotta start stop blaming bots for everything wrong in my life and like really look and see. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh, okay, no, it was a bot. Yourself. The bots yeah. caused it. You're being the bots, man. Babe, it's the bots, man. I'm trying. I'm like really like doing all good stuff here, and it's the bots that are killing it. Bots, man. Definitely not the beer. Ooh, Definitely what you not got? the podcast. Um. <laughs> It it doesn't matter right now because I have to find this. Go! <laughs>
Uh, <laughs> it's uh, Cyclones Hazy IPA, a uh, uh, base. Oh, be a Cyclone beer. Wait, what's going on here? He's got his own beer. You know, what? Back Pocket no Brewing yeah. Company out of uh, Coralville, Iowa. It's a hazy. I took the hit for you guys. I'm like, oh, you know. Yeah. I got. Oh, poor you. I have to drink so hazy many hazy. I have to drink so many hazies because you guys don't drink hazy. So, but I'll do it. Did you roll it? I Did you roll, roll it? it? I didn't roll it. Oh shit! It's gonna get fucked up. I didn't roll it. I mean, I'll try the hazies. I just won't drink them. Mm-hmm. So I guess that is a waste. <laughs> so I'll waste. try it. I know. I can recognize if it's a good hazy for people who like hazies. Hey, it's just not something I like. Hazy. That's all. Yeah, no, no shade, no shade, guys. Right. If you like hazy, so, it's fine. Yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta make a real good one. Like Red Stacy's not gonna be like uh, she doesn't want any like mid range hazy. She wants like yeah. fucking good shit. I don't Love want something you just like. Threw together and like squeezed some right. juice into it and said, No, it's easy. Like, get out of here. <laughs> <It's a try. laughs> I don't want a bunch of sediment hanging out in the bottom of the glass either. Like, <laughs> right when I pour it out, don't give me any of that bullshit. Give me that sediment, sediment bullshit. Yeah. That haze should be suspended the entire time, regardless of age, oh. regardless of temperature. So you don't even Just, care about our new hazy roller that's coming soon. That's right. <laughs> uh, I don't. Damn it. You should, though. Pretty, pretty freaking around. The haze craze. <laughs> I appreciate everyone uh, hanging on while I. <laughs> this whole past uh, five minutes, while uh, uh, Nick and uh, uh, Stacey are trying to vamp, I'm trying to uh, sort out uh, <laughs> technical issues right now. So uh, just, I am almost. Don't there. forget to look up our, our new company, Dash Ash. <laughs> Yeah. Dash talked about on, yeah, I was, yeah. Talked about on the tailgate. If you want to learn more, become a Patreon supporter. That's yeah, right. that's right. You would know. You'd be like, oh, I get that you reference. Want, that reference makes sense. You want to good me. business, uh, you know, business ideas? Five bucks a month. Yep. We'll get right. you uh, right. hey, ideas. Friday. Consulting. On way to North Park City. Whoa, whoa. What? Yo, what's up? Perfect to you be here. That's true. Uh, just it's the thing to say, it's Friday, and I'm on my way to North Park City. Got an Airbnb Dude, with my feet. Dude, you something right weird. Guys all right. Right at the oh. corner of the truck. Is this like a <laughs> Is this like a <laughs> ham radio? Or yeah, everywhere, everywhere and ham they radio call back to our oh. Airbnb or wherever you say that thing. Uh, it's going to be a great, great weekend. Uh, so if, as you're listening to this, tell me what breweries to hit. Obviously, Dorf Park Brewery and Beer Project. I know there's a second chance, but other little breweries that you know that are out there, let me know. I'll be listening. And that's it, home. This is true, your beer. And I'll be in San, I'm all the way to San Diego. San Diego. I have to watch your pizza. I don't think so. <laughs> Damn. Sound like a, hey, watch uh, no, that was that was a recent one. Okay. That sounds similar to the one he he did uh before. There was a lot more background noise with this one though. <laughs> <All right>. Choose, <laughs> in, choose in San Diego. <laughs> look for it. Look out. Look out. Choose is gonna take over San Diego. <laughs> yeah. Don't be jealous. San Diego. I've been jealous all is this the week. Peppers? What song is it? Do you have to ask? I do have to ask. What song is it? Like, uh, do you have to ask? That's the name of the song? Yes. Do hey, you have to ask? The name of the song is it? You have to ask. Oh. You'll, You'll never, never know. know. <laughs> if I'm getting my... Not good. It's called it. Wait, did, oh, I'm hoping oh, this I didn't is. I know that, I guess. Calling in Janine. So back in the day, I thought yep. Chili Peppers were cool. Wait, I'm waiting to see if it's a butt. But now butt I'm now. like, oh. You were the main reason I. <laughs> so you want me to skip it? No, no. You're playing. the main reason. We may have I know to edit that. this out. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what they say. You're not. 
I'm recording a call. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn yeah, I did. This is it. This is it. <laughs> oh, Janine got two. Hi, guys. It's Colin and Janine. Colin, We're you're in so much trouble. In basement. We got back from having some fun. Went to La Loma Mexican restaurant, and I didn't drink because I wanted to drink later. Cause you ever have that feeling where you're like, I want to drink, but I want to do it right now? <laughs> It's like right. that guy that drinks at work stay. and they're like, I'm drinking so much more fun. You realize you have all this time after work to drink. You don't have to do it. Now I'm confessing my like fourth grade crush to him. No, oh, that was before. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's all good. It's, it's, it's a Mexican food. You need to have an eleven dollar skinny margarita. Explain that, Janine. What's a skinny skinny margarita? It's got no sugar, no carbs. Wow. Just it's just booze and like uh, so it's vodka. Like flavor. Uh, yeah. Chicken freezing your right? Good for you. That's cool. So it was it's actually pretty good. I mean it's in the Skinny fancy margarita. part of Denver by where the Brown Palace is where you can get fancy. where they do high tea. They're fancy like. Yeah, they're fancy down there. That's kinda cool. Thank well it's for our friend's birthday and she turned <laughs> forty four. Forty four. She's much younger than we are. She's She's a youngin. She's my bestie's wife. She's cool. So, headed up Strange after that. Duh. We always go to Strange. And it was fantastic. Oh, and now we're drinking some Pittsburgh Tom beer. Yeah, the show is... We got a... We had a nice. Trillium... Um, what is that Trillium called? Hot Damn. Oh, it's called Coms. 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 Okay. I, I gotta I, tell I've, you guys, I've renamed it Hot Damn. Like, if anybody's ever told you about this guy named Pittsburgh Tom... Trillium is definitely not over. He is a super class act. Oh, yeah. So, not only did he come here, held his weight, did his thing, had a bunch of fun, oh. but afterwards... Homeboy sent us a package uh, with Trillium and his favorite beers from beer. his his home state. Uh, he did not have to do this and whatsoever. Now we're having a bruise from Grateful Gnome, mm-hmm. and it's also very very good. It's yes, it's from it's from uh, Dancing Gnome. Oh, sorry, Dancing Gnome. So uh, Grateful Gnome is Endeavor. Sorry, I don't have to I don't have to sing the praises of, of uh, Pittsburgh Tom, but he is one of the best people on the planet. We all know this. You guys have a great night. So and awesome. This camera and that camera and this. Camera camera in three minutes so Ooh. point to that camera and tell them how you love this life <laughs> keep up the good work keep up the good work keep up the good work guys, guys. cheers Denver Denver wait cameras I feel like we were just part of their only fans wow <laughs> We would only be so lucky. Oh, yeah. No, they would have talked about that before. uh, Because if if they had an OnlyFans account, like, they could make so much money from the Perfect Poor listenership. It would be like 100% sign up from the Perfect Poor listenership. They'd be like, "Uh, yeah. Like, we had to get all our patrons would drop off and be like, I need that $5 for this fucking Con and Janine only cam. I always forget. <laughs> like, nah. So, yeah. Yeah. If Colin and Jeannie, if you do have one, I would mention it because every single listener of the Perfect Poor would pay pay that. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, zero hesitation. I'm getting that. Only fans from Colin and Jeannie. Love it. And it, 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 it doesn't even have to have anything nefarious nefarious uh, going on it just has to be like calling in janine camera and that's that's with all that, with hot tub noise yeah in the background that's all that's yeah. funny. like Please once some, once a, just like just focus in on the temperature gauge of the hot tub and like once in a while you'll see calling or janine's hand like adjust the temp and you'll be like oh that's enough for me. I paid five dollars for that. I saw their hand. Oh yeah. my god. That was, I thought no, that was, that was Janine's hand. No, I thought it was Colin's hand. No, come on, man. That was Janine's hand. That's what would be happening. Damn it. Hey guys, can you hear me? Nope. Not driving. Mm. You're in, you're in so man, I missed driving. another week's leaving a voicemail. Gosh. Gee whiz, yeah, you keep missing and stuff. And I'll try to keep up. So um, right now it's October 23rd, a Monday. I have not listened to the latest show, uh, but no. I listened to the show before mm, that. So I don't know what has transpired. 
the latest podcast. But there's a Rat Stacy won awards just like you, Scott. I wanted to touch on. Uh, and this is something that was brought up a few episodes ago, two or three episodes ago, about edibles and 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 craft beer. Right? Mm-hmm. So interesting thing, like like Mikey was saying, oh, does somebody like take a gummy and and chug some IPA or or what's up with that? Yeah. How does it how does it blend together? So yeah. I'll let you know that there has been, at least on the homebrew level, I don't know about the professional level, but the homebrew level, there has been times when people have put activated THC that was infused in Everclear and like added it to their homebrew. And my gosh, uh, I've been told that it is, yeah, yeah, it's just pretty intense. Like, yeah, you know, Everclear. You know, some people, they can, like, smoke a dub or <laughs> do some vape, and it's, like, no big deal. But edibles are a little stronger for some people, right? And when you put an edible into beer, I think it makes it even stronger than that. Well, I'm just theorizing, of course. I wouldn't I wouldn't Those know. Those two first downers hand. mixed together. Hmm. Well, anyway, um, the Pina Colada IPA Cider came out really <laughs> really colada y. It's oh. like be, before, like I tried it before and there wasn't like no coconut. It's just pineapple and hops. This one is it's coconut first and then pineapple and hops. That but it's sounds, all there. It's all there. Bad. And I want to try to get you guys some. Yeah. And you might even get some that's infused with something. You never know. Yeah. You never yeah. know. Yeah, we're adults here. At least I know one of you. Likes that kind of stuff or is open to that kind of stuff. But anyway, anyway, let's keep this on the down. Let's keep this professional. And check your dates. Keep up the dream. My honest opinion. Sanger. Sanger. I mean, we're we're all adults. It's legal. It's cup wine, bro. That's right. Thanks, Scotty B. Let's get Bam. like what do we got to do to get Scotty B caught up on the week? He's always like a week back. Like he's like, no, I can't listen to two shows in one week. Mm, just play his voicemail a week later, <laughs> and then he's like, oh. no, we got to get him a job out of town so he has a commute. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That could work. Let's just give him some money, like a stipend, so he doesn't have to have a job, and then he can just listen to Perfect Board for you. <laughs> right. Oh, by the way, yeah, we were uh, sent an email. Uh, speaking of Scotty B and brewing, it's homebrew day is November fourth. Wait, that would be mm, would be, that's next Friday, right? That would, no, next Saturday. So, yeah. Next Saturday. Next Saturday. So yeah, re- be ready. Homebrew day is coming, Scotty B. I know you're a week behind, but. Homebrew day is November 4th. I hope you're aware. Yeah, yeah so you missed it. <laughs> it's over. But, but she doesn't want to try your homebrew. Mariel from uh, uh, American Homebrewers Association <laughs> emailed us letting us know, like, hey, hey, bros, perfect pour. Uh, um, you know, homebrew day oh, is November 4th. Speaking of reminders, uh, right now, Untapped has... A promotion going on. Twenty huh? percent off all merchandise when you use <laughs> Pumpkin Twenty. <laughs> there you go. Put that up tap merch, guys. Pumpkin Twenty. You want to? Do you want to look like the biggest stud at your uh, <laughs> uh, uh, at your bottle share? Get you that un- untapped merch. That's right. Pumpkin Twenty will get you untapped walk glassware. In, walk in with that and. Clean, flat-brimmed yeah. hats. You walk in with the, with that uh, your probolitas and your untapped shirt. You're gonna be the hit of the bottle share for sure. <laughs> Don't you see my untapped hat, bro? Oh yeah. Oh, untapped. Can I get yeah. my, pump, my pumpkin specific glass? <laughs> pumpkin specific. You know, only if there's been like you know milk, um, milk proteins in it and you'll be where and where the and where where your t-shirt i know where the ipa boat sank 
Oh, Ask me how. Man, let's start that conspiracy. Wait, what? The let's fuck? start this. Mm, where did Don't they, give it away right now. We're going to talk where the this IPA show. boat sank, guys. Yeah. You've been lied to. The IPA boat never made it to India. I know. We don't even people. know what that IPA tasted like. It probably wasn't even IPA the way we know it today. Yeah. In, the oh, people on the IPA too. boat didn't better. even know they were going to India or didn't even know it was a country. They thought they were going to Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, it's Iceland pale ale? Yeah. We, oh, yes. whoa. oh my God. Oh, we had it wrong. Holy oh, shit. Yeah. Oh my God! It's been the oh wow, dude. That's why they can't find the boat. It sank yeah, off Iceland. That's why they never I found it. Go. I have to go. This is they sent, they <laughs> sent they <laughs> sent sail to Iceland Wait, and then Brad, they just Stacey, kept why are you going. That life preserver so quickly. <laughs> Holy shit! They sent sail to Iceland. They just kept going and then they ended up in India. And they're like, man, this took a long time to get to Iceland. It was like seemed like it was yeah. right there, and then like. Right. Six months later, we're in left turn at Albuquerque. Yep, I thought you know, I, I should have made a left turn at like Iceland. Listen up, produce IPA. and send us IPA, yeah. Icelandic Ice, pale ale. Ice PA. But can send it. It will. It will sail. It will sell. I'm telling you, oh. it will sail and it will sell. Yeah. Come on, Iceland. <laughs> you want to uh, up your uh, up up the cash flow in Iceland? Let's. Want to up just, all your shit? Yeah, up it all. <laughs> no, we, just, you don't want. They don't want a bunch of douchebags coming to Iceland. They're like, they're kind of like, <laughs> yeah. right. they have money. They're don't like, tell Buzzfeed; they'll put it on their list. <laughs> <laughs> top ten Iceland. <laughs> top ten. Top ten things to do in Iceland. Number one: have Icelandic IPAs. Yeah, you want to know the real, real story of IPA? Go to Iceland. Yeah, they'll tell you. <laughs> They'll be like, why the fuck are you here? Hey, guys, can you hear me? I'm, well, sitting in the parking lot. Hey, it's Wazoo. Just <laughs> uh, Wazoo. got done with the gym, so I might be breathing hard, but uh, had to get a, a little little, little mail, a little, little message into you before the show. Um, back, in, uh, was back in Maryland a couple weekends ago, it was nice and rainy and cold, and sunny and cold it was weird weather, man. Weird. Uh, but uh, makes me... Enjoy that I live here, where we live here in Northern California. Anyway, uh, not a lot of beer out there. Staying in an area called Aberdeen, Maryland, uh, probably about a half hour north of, Mar- of uh, Baltimore. Uh, they had a brass tap in the town, so I uh, went over there with my boy to have uh, dinner, and I ordered a uh, Space Jellyfish uh, IPA from Nepenthe Brewing, I believe it is. Uh, and the, the uh, waitress uh, put in an order for a red ale on accident, so she brought me the red ale and the IPA. Oh, the red ale is called... Uh, 1605 Red from Antietam Brewery. It was all right. A little hoppy. It was. It just wasn't what I was in the mood for, uh, but it was tasty enough. Uh, the, <clears throat> the Space Jellyfish uh, was pretty tasty. Called the West Coast, but it was a little bit on the, uh, the hazy side. And then uh, I was looking over the uh, the menu for the, the one more beer, and I saw they had uh, Dogfish had 120 Minute, and I said, sweet, nice. let me have that. And so she brought it over and set it down, and <clears throat> I was like, well, that label doesn't look very familiar. So I fired up the untapped to check it in, and it's the 120 Minute Aged in Utopia's Barrels. What? Really interesting beer, barley wow. wine-esque wow. barrel character, and... Uh, Let's just say it wasn't a light beer. It clocked in at 17% alks, or 17 alks. So Woo. I uh, hey. drank down about a quarter of that and asked for a cup of water to go. Mm-hmm. And uh, well, I won't say that we I didn't take the water. beer back to the hotel mm-hmm. because the water cup went. But uh, got it back <laughs> to the hotel safely, which wasn't very far. So I um, sipped on that and then went down to the hotel bar where I ordered. A, I said, hey, what's the blue-eyed blonde from this brewery called Independent? And the... Uh, Beer tender said it's an IPA. I said, okay, sounds good. Bring it on over. Nice line. Figured to be a blonde ale because it's named Blue Eyed Blonde. But uh, she brought it over and it tasted like bubble gum and cloves. And I'm like, hmm, that's weird. This tastes like something Whoa. else. Looked it up and it's a Belgian blonde. Uh, Not quite an IPA. Uh, so I sipped on that for a bit and then a couple other guys showed up at the bar and I probably had five Guinnesses. Whew. A lot of Guinness. Anywho, uh, then back home. That's, uh, that's, that's the last time I had a beer. You know, it's been a little over a week right now. Uh-oh. Trying to uh, uh-uh. get my shower away less and uh, be a little more healthy, you know. But uh, don't worry, I'm still bringing beers to the show. 
that's all I got, guys. Uh, you know, be safe. Yeah, well, Genesis, your have fun. Good for you. That's all I got. Bye. Bye. I'm in full sum. Yeah. Guinness, uh, keep you hydrated. Yeah, I mean, good, yeah, good don't B vitamins, hydration. Don't, I like it. Don't uh, don't stop drinking because of Guinness. I mean, come on. <laughs> Thank you, Wazza. Nice. Oops. Oh, thanks everyone for calling Aww. the perfect poor and leaving us voicemails five five nine four nine two zero five four two or perfect poor podcast at gmail dot com. All this information, as always, is in the show notes. And second here. Yes. How's everyone doing? We're doing all right. Do your beers? So good. Yeah, really good. Yeah. Really good. You know, this crispy poison getting, getting ripped. Really fucked up. Getting ripped. I'm not gonna lie. What? What got you got you fucked up? What? I'm in. Yeah, before. this freaking like eight percent crispy yeah, boy. Like that's not. <laughs> You're not used to your imperial <laughs> lagers, huh? Come on. It's just not. It's not what I was expecting. Well, it's good, but. I I don't it's think Wednesday. I don't think you got the memo, but 2023, uh, 2024 is all about imperial. All shit. about the Alex, I know. It's all Alex, man. Uh, so get ready. I mean, if you want to participate <laughs> in the beer world, you're gonna have to fucking half it up. the 70s where it's like there's like no alks to be found and like people are like drinking <laughs> drinking Coors tank cans and they're like man I'm drinking some tub, like rough beer here yeah some heavy shit and like woo some heavy shit and like woo t- Coors woo man you know like yeah, man, yeah. I get fucked up take me back so yeah, we're in a we're in a yeah we could we could fucking drink anybody from the seventies under the table like somebody from the seventies like check it out huh I've got a I've got a <laughs> shot of whiskey here and you're like oh wow that's really cool man yeah I can't handle that you, you got me <laughs> you got me yeah so just in case you're time traveling. Don't worry, you're you're ready for any elk <laughs> challenge that the past can can uh, come up with. Uh, then a Katie on a tab. Do you want to talk about any uh, beers you had this week? Uh, yeah. Let's see if we could <laughs> recall some beers. Did you actually check them in? Yeah. Use your no. uh, I, There's a thing called Untapped that you can use what? to document your drinking throughout the week. Yeah, uh, and it's also super great for dating. Yeah, you can. That sounds you can, like a lot of. <laughs> you can find your I. Can, can your AI, AI do this for me? Yeah, you can find your AI companion for the future. <laughs> your AI soulmate is yeah. on there. <laughs> Make friends with it because that's going to be your. It's going to be your only protection in the future. Is your the, your AI friend you made on Untap? <laughs> um, I think I ooh I did pick up some new beers from the market. I uh-huh. think a couple were repeats. Like I had No Cap from Tioga, you know, from the Tall Boy had section. It. Yeah. Um, oh myself. Uh, How I did tall. the, the <laughs> How tall is it? How tall taller, is that Oh, it's so tall. Taller, <laughs> taller than Paul Bunyan. Wow. Yeah. That's a big uh, bunion. The most, the most, <laughs> look at the size of that bunion. <laughs> the most memorable label buy I had from the market hall was the shot away from Altamont Brewing, which is the. Uh, 60s rock poster font. Oh, it's Rolling uh, Stones reference. In, yeah, Stones reference. Yeah, to the uh, the shooting at the from the uh, 
concert where the Hells Angels were the security for the show. Mm, Hells Angels, good good people. <laughs> good people, yep, yeah. Yep, especially good people. Bunch of do gooders. Toys for tots. No problem. At the end of the year. Right. <laughs> to cover up all the bad shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Just don't cook any pizzas. Right. I hope so, yeah, no makes it on the map. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the shot away was a nice beer. Um, cool, cool label and a nice beer to match. Uh, the highlight of my week was probably the uh, three big sirs at Barrel House before I went and saw Nightmare Before Christmas in the theater. At Ooh, Edwards. In the theater. Nice. Oh, so you're nice, yeah, they nice and juiced. released it. Nice and juiced up huh? for the movie. Oh yeah, I was juiced up for the show, and then uh, they had a hop concept IPA on tap in the theater. So ah. I'm surprised I understood the movie at all. At that point. <laughs> well, you've seen it already. It's fine. Yeah, I'm what's not this? following what's, this? what's going on. Something in the, air. in the air. What's this? What's this? What's this? And they call him Sandy Claus. Did I get a Jewish They're not Claus part. at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good. Still an epic movie. Still one of my favorites. <laughs> so good. And, and it's different on the big screen. I don't, I don't know if I ever saw it originally when it was mm. released. I do know I, I've seen it over the years so at home. But the detail is much more intricate on the big screen. You can see things you didn't see before. I recently read an article saying that um, during the Rocky Horror Picture Show filming that they had an Easter egg hunt and not all of the eggs were found. And throughout the movie, you can actually find Easter eggs scattered about in the footage. And now I'm on a mission to find it, to yeah. collect because it wasn't it wasn't snoped too, so like it seems real, but it's wow. it yeah, I'm gonna watch it in slow mo. Uh, watch Tim Tim Curry get real weird in slow motion for six hours. <laughs> yeah, Any, uh, more beers, Nick. Uh, that that was all that I could re- remember. Okay. Um. There, yeah, there was lots of beers this weekend, but I think most were repeats. A lot of new glory from uh, the market. Boring. You know, just same old. Oh, Pure Project West, the Pure West. Um, it. Boring. You know, yeah, boring. Old, old now, but different. It's not the beer. It's the situations lately. Yeah. It's like, where am I drinking? Not so much what am I drinking, but where am I drinking it? Mm. Like eight oh five before noon, You're growing up sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. at a car show. Yeah, yeah. that's that's, yeah, that's fun. It's situational. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, Guys, it's ten a.m. and I want to get drunk. And you got five dollars. Oh, Mikey's yawning. Okay, he so let's get to this. That was a ten. I know. Uh, okay, but one more thing about the eight oh fives. At least they priced it right. It was a five dollar eight oh five. All right, you like that dark beer, like. <laughs> Where is, when's the last time you had a five dollar beer? Something anywhere? heavy, an eight of five. <clears throat> That's true, actually. Well, PBRs are five bucks at Bolero. Okay. See, I, I'd accept so, yeah. that. Yeah. That's a decent price. Yeah. Inflation, man. Of course, they're five bucks. <laughs> beer inflation. Beer inflation, bro. Right. Uh, so that's my Ben cut. The Negati on on tap. Rad underscore Stacy with an E or wait, is it I, all Rad Stacy on Untap? Yeah, it's <laughs> are, yeah. Are we doing the E this week? What's going yeah. on? I'm gonna let you know where the E goes. It's not where you <laughs> oh, think. Oh, E! Okay. Wow! E! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Rad! But but Rad are you? underscore Stacy? Guess where the E goes? Um. I actually did check in two beers. I was sick most of the weekend, which sucked, but... Um, Why did you do that? Rad Doug brought home some samples because I get to help him, you know, uh-huh. with his other business. 
Uh, so coffee porter from Smog City. You was, turn things on a lathe too? <laughs> I do, yeah. I'm like, chuck that fucking can on there. Let's see what it does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Augment no. the flavor. Um, I actually was really proud of my description that I put in on this um, coffee porter that I did. But now I can't find what I actually said. I said something about how, like, hey, if you like your your coffee black and your min handy, then check out this beer because it's really great. And I stand wow. by that. Uh, it was, yeah. yeah, it was really good. I'm so <laughs> heading to untapped right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, view, view my chicken. That's what I have to click. So I said, enjoyed this coffee stout in the shop with my man. If you like your coffee black and your men handy, then you'll probably enjoy this beer. So many coffee porters are on the sweet side, but this one shines with a dark chocolate bitterness that I really enjoyed. So Man. check it out. Smog City Coffee Porter. Yeah, Smog City and the, the next one is also from Smog City, and it was the Hoppy Amber Ale. And honestly, that one really impressed me. It was um, very malty and yet very hoppy. It had like that great like old school dad beer hoppiness and, mm, and yeah, maltiness yeah. that I like. So like, you know, dad IPAs of the nineties, that's where it was right. for me. It, it hit home and I like that. So not for everyone, but I liked it. Good. Those are my beers. Those are rad. And I actually checked in. Oh, so, look at you. You're I know. Using, using the, the technology to your advantage. <laughs> <laughs> um, earlier I had to try to uh, have a choo choo train, uh, which is a a, a lot a hell's logger hell's logger that uh, May Cyclone donated to the show. It's a Dimensional Brewing Company beer, but it is one that didn't make it all the way because somehow the can got. I think it's a U- aggressive UPS driver that you know tossed the <laughs> package <laughs> in the uh, in the in the truck because uh, this can busted somehow and I still can't really even there's nothing super there's nothing open it's just like a little uh, the it, it got through like the bottom of the can but uh, so I got a call from our UPS store. And Ooh, it was a voicemail, that's not good. and the guy's like, "Hey, uh, we got a package for you, but the uh, the whole package is uh, soaked, and uh, the UPS driver wants to know if you want to reject it, and if you want to have it returned, uh, call me back." So it was like a, sort of a panic oh call of like the UPS store is like, "Oh, you don't know, we've got a soaked package." And I called him back. I was like, no, 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 don't reject it. It's fine. Because I obviously knew what was going on. I obviously knew <laughs> some beer got busted in the package. But they're like, <laughs> but they don't know. They're just like, Doesn't look good. yeah, they're like, oh, it got damaged in shipment. I'm like, nah, bro. It's just a beer that, that busted open. So I was like, oh, no, it's cold. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll come get it later. And and I picked up and it was the same guy that called me. He's like, oh, yeah, you want to have a you report this to ups you want to reject this i mean no no it's it's, it's fine it's fine bro. like don't bro chill yeah it's, it's, it's okay fine. man yeah don't worry it's like it's um, beer man don't worry there, man uh, it's, i was like it's definitely not beer in there that's for sure that didn't that broke well, i'm it's, glad it wasn't me because i've been like you know what if you're gonna treat my package like this like what are you gonna do with cremated remains yeah yeah i just need to know by the, <laughs> I don't by the way you ever heard of dash ash I tried, I tried to drink the choo choo tree, but it was a hell's lager that's been like damaged Oof. for two for damaged. a week and a half. So I'm like, nah. It was probably, it no, was probably good. It's been though. drama. It's I mean, been it was probably great before damage. Yeah, but uh, and and it wasn't any of the uh, packaging wasn't bad. The it, there was it just it was just a I'm blaming aggressive UPS driver. That's all. But. Yeah, I think like Ace him. Ventura at the beginning of the first movie. Yeah, when, just like when he's kicking it. I'm sure it was something nice though. <laughs> um, <laughs> also, also had Liquid Gravity Brewing Company's Mouthing Off, an American IPA. 
an American IPA. Not some, American. not some Icelandic IPA. I can hear the eagle screeching yeah. as you drink it. <laughs> Uh, Every time a can's open, a I uh, forgot to mention this last week, but I went to Vegas last weekend. Forgot Wait, to say that yeah. Was going, yeah, I went to Las oh, Vegas. Oh, we noticed to see Welcome the U, see the U two at at the at the oh the, yeah, that's the right. dome ball the ball thingy in Las Vegas. How was the ball thingy? It's, did it give you all the ball thinginess? It did that it, you desired? It's pretty amazing, like. Uh, you, it'll kind of spoil you from seeing shows from any any other way. You're like, Without balls, it's uh, yeah. it's pretty incredible uh, <laughs> place to see a, a show. the 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 visuals are just amazing. It's just God. So if you haven't seen the Sphere in Las Vegas, I'm sure you probably have. But if you haven't seen it, it's just a, a venue made for sh- shows, and the whole. Basically, two thirds of the venue is like screen, so it's not it's not like, you know you go to an arena and and like oh the stage and then there's a big screen behind there there's some sort of video setup. This is like the whole venue is a screen behind the the band, and uh, and it was YouTube. I hadn't seen YouTube before. I'm I'm not a big YouTube fan, but like. I respect them as a band, so it was cool to see <laughs> them, I guess. And nice. uh, uh, it's just incredible. Like the back, back the, at one point, they 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 do different visual for each song. And at one point, there was like it looked like they just like opened the window behind them, and you could see Vegas uh, skyline behind them, like what what it Whoa. would look like if they opened the window, but it wasn't. Oh, open window it was like the freaking video screen, and uh, it was just it was it's just like next level concert going experience. Wow! And uh, I had they they do have because it's it's Las Vegas and it's like Elvis City. They had a brew dog, the Elvis <laughs> juice on tap. They got Elvis <laughs> juice on tap. I was like, hey brother, hook me up with some of that Elvis juice. Uh, so they got that and they, they have some craft there, but it's, so there was like this reputation that it was like $30 a beer in there. And it, for, for me, it was 19, I, it was $19 a beer. So, which is really bad, but also not as bad as $30. So I was like, cause I was ready for paying $30 for a beer and it was 19. So I was like, Oh, this is pretty discounted beer Super decent. <laughs> the $19 <laughs> beer this is good so yeah so they have beer in there and there's a little bit of craft but um you know you, you just have to prepare it's you're gonna pay a lot for a beer it's a concert if you want to drink at a concert you're gonna have to pay a shit ton and yeah. at this place they, they're gonna try and make their money back i don't know how expensive this thing was to build but it's uh Sure it was, but thirty dollars a beer expensive just about it sounds yeah. like. <laughs> uh, but I would, depending on what you're getting. I would I, I'm uh endorsing seeing a show there, whatever the cost and cool. Uh, it is check very it out. is very cool. Um and that's that's enough. I that was that was <laughs> Oh, I went to Top Golf too. It's called Top Golf. All you golfers know. It's like a driving range but like they bullified a driving range. <laughs> right. <laughs> so like you can, you know, they got tar- targets you can hit to and like it it keeps your score on the screen. They're just like you w- it's got like a bay kind of like a bowling alley bay would be mm. and uh they got they got craft beer in there and the and the uh, top golf there in Las Vegas. So that was nice. something to go to. And oh god. I admitted this on the drinking and thinking, so I'll admit it on the show. I went to a Budweiser bar. Mm. Uh, there's wow. a, there is a Budweiser a uh, sponsored and to tell the bar. Tale. Yeah. Uh, in Las <laughs> Vegas. And it's just like a it's a and it's called Beer Park, and it's in Las Vegas, and it's basically like a, you know, a, a craft beer slash uh, a beer food or bar food slash craft beer bar, but it's not necessarily craft beer. It's a Budweiser bar with a lot of like 
a lot of buyout. It was like they they went heavy on all the Budweiser ABM Bev buyout beer. It was like on <laughs> display there. They're like, look at all the illusion. Yeah, it was like ultimate ABM Bev buyout beer display. It was all of them, like all the heavy hitters of ABM Bev craft quote unquote craft beer was on display. But I did manage to find one Modern Times orderville was there and I, I i at least had that but i did give money on uh in a sideways kind of way to ab and bev uh, so i you know i feel like shit but i, I had to do it i think it'd be fun to open a bar called bob bar which would just be like buy out beer bar <laughs> the bob bar yeah come on over to the bob bar all, you would do well in the all buy out beer oh all, totally it's just all breweries <laughs> that used to be independent that are not anymore that is just that's kind of what that this bar was really. <laughs> welcome to bob bar so I there you go that was that uh, that was that was me Dorktown, uh rad stacy the nick 80 Look for those people. <laughs> you, you'll you, you'll love it. The end. <laughs> the end. Um. Yeah. Sorry, we're kind of long here, huh? Jeez. We are a little bit. Sorry. All right, <laughs> we're, we're going. going. You're getting hot, man. Second hour. Uh, <laughs> I'm ready. Let's right. go. Wait, what cheers? Who do you want Let's to cheers? Go. Let's go. What cheers? I'm going to cheers Rad Doug. Uh, <laughs> cheers to Rad Doug. Looking forward to Lathe Talk. Uh, yeah. I think we're starting our Ooh. new podcast. Dorktown Network. <laughs> Coming uh, soon on the Dorktown Network Lathe Talk. Sp- spin me right round. <laughs> spin me oh, right round. Doug. Oh, that no, that's better. Spin me right <laughs> round. The Lathe, the Lathe Podcast. <laughs> Yeah, it'll Look, be like uh, coming in twenty twenty four. Yeah, it's click and clack for leave. <laughs> Somebody's like, I don't, I don't get it, and then you go, it's click and clack for leave, and they're like, oh, okay. Uh, spin and grin. <laughs> I don't know. Spin and grin. A <laughs> leave show. Spinderella. I love laving things. Like, bro, how many things need laving? Oh, you'd be surprised. A lot of stuff needs laving, bro. <gasps> Lazy Susan. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Wow, that's a whole I genre. Like out there, I love walking out there, and I'm just like, so you just take like big pieces of metal and dwindle them down to little pieces of metal, and people like give you uh, money. And he's like, yeah, yeah, Duh. that's it. Yeah. Uh, I think you guys should start a sub <laughs> stack at least. At least start a sub, and I get to watch it the whole time. Yeah, right. At least start a lathing <laughs> sub stack. If you're not going to do a podcast. You know, <laughs> I love it. Take uh, this and chuck it. Oh, take this lathe and chuck it. Pretty good. I ain't lathe in here no more. I laved <laughs> all the metal. Took all the women. I'm not lathe. I've been lathing for. <laughs> Better not try I'll to lay them my lady. way because I'll be lathing out the door. Lave this job and lathe it. I ain't laving here no more. Boom, 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 boom. Sorry, I had to finish the whole so, sequence. Cheers to that cover of what? <laughs> the lay this job and lathe it. You guys lay <laughs> this job around. <laughs> um, wow. <well. laughs> Uh, you know, cheers to all of the people that put on the Fresno Fair and allowed me to win twenty seven dollars in second place prizes. I'm nice. like pretty pretty proud of that. And I will upload the second place 
apple persimmon pie recipe for you guys to make. And if you do make it, please tag me and show me a picture and I will cheers your efforts in trying to make your own first place pie because I've never taken first for an apple pie and it really pisses me the fuck off. So damn it. (laughs) This uh, fixed, I tell you. And you'll be Cheers you'll be to myself for continuing to fucking yeah. try. <laughs> Hell yeah. You'll be doing all kinds of experimenting to get ready for 2024 Fresno Fair. Yeah, maybe I'll just go into like the craft beer category. I'll just make a beer and see what happens. Yeah, you're like, you know what? Fuck Let's you do guys. It. I'm gonna go craft beer. The, just yeah, don't be, guys. Just me some malt and a carboy, and we'll just yeah. see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, I can't wait to see what the what kind of lathing things Nick's gonna enter in next. Uh, yes, you should. Oh yeah, where's the where's the uh, metal smithing? Department? I'll see you in the home arts building. Lay this my job and right. lathe it. <laughs> Take this job and lathe it. I love it. It really does bring me joy to see other, you know, the love (laughs) of my life, of course, interacting with like other shit that I do out here. And I think it's great. It's like a, it's like a Letterman. It's like an old David Letterman uh, segment. Like, can you lathe it? And like, (laughs) you just just bring out an item. Like, can can it be laid? Can it be laid? And it's just like a. It's just like a little tube of baby wipes, and you're like, "Can you lay this?" And you're like, "Yep, you can." Fuck lay yeah, it. I can. Fuck yeah, I can. I fucking lay the shit out of that. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my steady rest out. If you can see it, you can lay it. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. if it ex- wow. if it's physically the optimist, the exists. optimistic lather. Get laid. <laughs> So, great. like, if you're a lather, do you see, like, every item in existence and you're like, it'd probably be better if I could lay that a little bit more down, lay that down a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Could you lay the TV? Could you lay my TV down a little bit? <laughs> I mean, I would watch that video. I just want to get to the world. <laughs> Like, could you get that in the lather, a TV? Right. Yeah. That, that's the first question my sister asked me. She's like, so when are you going to get the hydraulic press so we could crush things? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Just... See, it's becoming like the the old Letterman, late night David Letterman show all the time. Any more cheers? Are we give it, give it out here? Cheers to you guys. All right. Cheers oh. to you guys. Going into the third hour. Cheers to the golden still, gods of the perfect poor that it. donate money to the show every month. Still we, talking. We hella Why appreciate it. Talking? Don't don't get us on any more tangents, Rats Easy. Friday night <laughs> Zoomers. Cheers to the Friday night Zoomers. Cheers to everyone on uh, for Halloween. Happy Halloween. Give out some beers to some distressed parents this this year. Uh <laughs> Thanks for listening to the show. Have a great week. Be safe. Have fun. But before you do that, you got to what? Check your dates. Fucking dates. Yeah, yeah. Come on.